You're watching Jim the Cook with Mike Ben and Mo and Phil Varden. And as I bent over, you could hear the songs from the coal miners emanating from my... Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week, we welcome a guest host, Dr Phil Varden. Hello. Hi. How are you finding it so far? Rubbish. Rubbish. That's about right for yeah, our reviews as well. Yeah. Um, and just as a bit of a premise, we have got a man in. He's banging away behind me, so you might hear him slip in from time to time. Mike very often enjoys a man banging away behind him. Inside. But um, <laughs> what's in store for the showbiz this week, Phil? This week, I'll be bringing a story about a long awaited sequel. Ooh, not sequence, you can tell these, not you. But on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv of our website, and on YouTube and podcast services, you can look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched our souls on social media go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. So, Phil, have you ever ordered things offline that have turned out not to be what you expected? Once or twice, yes. What was it? Oh. Hmm. So, there was a slightly embarrassing shoe moment where I thought okay. I'd ordered a nice pair of boots for okay. myself and actually ended up with a lovely sparkly pair of stiletto heels. Oh, I'd put the wrong thing in the basket. Whoops. Yeah, but wasn't yeah. great. Still wore them. Yeah, obviously, yeah, of right. course. Quite a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Bought them now. <laughs> <laughs> Never takes them off. Um, What's well, the story about a woman who's been baffled? Absolutely baffled after she received, um, well, she ordered a pack, pair of Levi's mm. and instead received a bag of onions. Right. Um, I, I'm not really quite sure how that happened, but, you know, I can see in the packing warehouse, L Levi's, onions, it's the same thing. It's the same shop. Same yeah, shop, absolutely. Just completely. Yep. Um, well, surprisingly, it was actually on Depop, which is where people sell their own clothes. Um, rather than actual warehouse, and the person, the person selling them went oh, seriously. How has that happened? I mean, maybe they had gone to the supermarket and bought mm -hmm. some onions, and then went to the post office, and the onions were packaged exactly the same way as the Levi's, and they yeah. posted. The onions? <laughs> <laughs> We're reaching for an apple there. Um, what has actually turned out is that we believe that the person selling may have not had the Levi's in the first place and was just making up the weight as, with onions. Yeah. I mean, I suspect that's a possibility. Yeah. Um, but one person commented that maybe there's just a garden enthusiast out there now sporting a nice pair of Levi's. Possibly. And... <laughs> being very upset that their onions haven't arrived. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. How'd you like them onions? That's all I got in my head. Then. I didn't get any. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, so yeah, when you're ordering things offline, just be a bit careful, really. Yeah, make sure you put the right thing in the basket, and mm -hmm. if you get onions, send them back. Or, oh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'll just send them back to just eat them. Well, nice onion soup. I mean, there's only so much you can eat onions. French onion soup? That'd be a large amount of French onion soup. You'd be bathing in the stuff. Maybe that's good for maybe, you. Maybe, maybe it's maybe good for your skin. Good, yeah. I mean, maybe that's something that people like to do. Who knows? Perhaps but, we've discovered a whole new onion fetish. There's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll move on to our next story. Uh, this is a, a man who, who's run a marathon in three hours and 28 minutes. That's quite good. Is that a good... Sub four hours is considered quite good for a marathon. OK. Uh, he was chain-smoking the entire time. Ah. nicotine fueled then. Yeah. Um, so, um, basically, in, in China, Uncle Chen ah. is the gentleman's name. Well, well, I mean, we all love Uncle Chen. Who doesn't love Uncle Chen? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, ran whilst chain-smoking a, a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. He's 50 years old. Um, I mean... To be fair, mm. the reason people get addicted to cigarettes is because the nicotine gives you a boost. Okay. If you're chain smoking them, that's some boost that you're you're going to get. But as I always say when people ask me if I'm ever going to do a marathon, always remember that the first person to do a marathon died at the end of it. I 
don't even run for a bus, so <laughs> that's me doing that. Get out of breath running in a bath. Um, but yeah, um, he actually competes as an ultra marathoner. Oh, he's one well. of these people that does like a hundred miles run. Fifty kilometers in twelve hours. Yeah, that sort of thing. It's insane. Yeah, um, he wasn't actually planning on doing anything for Guinness Book of Record, but has actually passed as the person who is running the furthest while chain smoking. I didn't think the Guinness Book of Records were allowing unhealthy records anymore. They've allowed him in. Oh, well. They've um, obviously decided smoking is really good for you. It isn't, that? kids. <laughs> but adults, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you it want to kill kid. yourself, that's your choice. <laughs> Please don't make that choice. We don't get many viewers as it is. Um, oh, can you feel that? Yes, that sort of... vibration feeling. Mm. This one's giving me a good drilling. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Um, I have to check the chair after he stands up. I wouldn't. <laughs> Mostly fluid stains. But if you want to interact with us and share your fluid stains, we are at the Cud TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Ooh. You're saying ooh now. Um, children. How do you control an unruly child? Generally, I don't. I get their parents to do it. <laughs> Pass them back. Yeah. yeah. Not my child. You sort it out. Not my child, not my problem. <laughs> not my monkeys, just my... Anyway, um, this is a story about a man who's been basically demanded to do something in a and q because of his children. Dare I ask what he was demanding to do or being demanded of? Well, he's been left to clean up a very big poo... Oh. As one of his children decided that that toilet was a proper toilet. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I mean... We, we, we've, we've safeguarded the child's identity. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's that's delightful. I mean, certainly when you go to show homes, mm -hmm. they, they tend to have a thing over the actual toilet to say, this is not actually a toilet. Perhaps B&Q could, could... They do sometimes have those, but it's a child likelihood of it reading a sign saying don't poo here yeah but it's right over the thing so you know but it's paper in it i suppose it probably just pushes right through exactly um so basically where is it oh i've moved it i do like how the child next to next to the pooing child is flushing obviously being well educated mm -hmm. aware of how the toilets work properly hmm I've lost it. I've I'm lost also it. slightly worried about that slightly suspicious outfit. I mean... What slightly suspicious outfit? There's Paw Patrol leggings, man. With, I don't know, is that sort of some kind of sort of flamingo floral top and yeah, well, dinosaur same. socks? If you, what if... I actually was talking about mm -hmm. was the... The dad. Yeah, yeah shorts, yeah. ankle socks, trainers combo. Not good. Yeah, um, so basically Frankie um, had to clear up his... Sorry, Azzy was asked to clear up his son's poo, right? So he had to rush to the the, top, the car to get some wet wipes and some yes. nappy bags and mm -hmm. and remove the offending article, the, the um, massive shite. Um, and basically, said he was really, really just shocked and really upset with his child because they'd pooed um, in the middle of a being queue. I mean, it is a toilet. So obviously the toilet training's working. Would you would you reward the child though? Because oh god no. But it's a toilet, so if you to put toilet training, I would I would ensure that the child was aware that they had in fact done it in an appropriate receptacle, in general. <laughs> <laughs> but that there are certain places where the toilets are not in fact for use and are for display purposes <laughs> only. <laughs> like at grandma's, just to confuse. <laughs> this is the reason why I don't have children. That and many other reasons. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. So. Thanks for that, Mike. I actually really enjoyed the onion story. I think I'm going to look more into ordering onions and other vegetables as available online. Supermarkets do deliver now. But pleasure as always. But next we have Phil and the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Phil and Mike. Now let's get ready to go to the showbiz with Phil.
Thank you, Mike. So I've got three stories for you okay. uh, this, this week. So the first one, mm. you may have heard me mention in the past that often the idea of men in leather quite does it for me. <laughs> and then we walk past certain establishments in town and they're you have a very specific gentlemen <laughs> of a certain age and a certain body type wearing leather and I turn to you and I say, yeah, not men in leather, hot men in leather. And I say, don't be so picky, it's a man in leather. <laughs> So, my first story <laughs> involves a hot man in leather. Oh, typical. Andrew Garfield of Spider-Man fame has been pictured by GQ magazine in the desert. Not really quite sure what the relevance of the desert is. It's hot and dry and he made me moist. Fair enough. <laughs> Never <laughs> used the word moist in my presence. <laughs> uh, yes, so he has been shown uh, taking pictures, topless, in his leather trousers. In the desert. I he mean, is moist. Look at him. Well, I think he's more oily than moist. He's been oiled. Oh, good job. It just makes it easier to get them out of the leather, you see. It's not out of the leather I'm thinking about, but OK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's but out yes. some more of it in, anyway. Um, so that's the yeah. first picture, which I thought was, was quite pleasant. Mm, it's quite not. Enjoy. And then that's the second picture, which also very, very, very pleasant. Why is he leaning back like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's... he's I think he's he's got a very flat air. It's like a he's, he's obviously tucked in those pants. Well, I mean leather's quite stiff. There's no there's no outline in that so, though, is there? But you know, very flat tummy. I'm I'm not looking at his stomach at this point. <laughs> to be fair, I'm trying to work out how big his <laughs> is. Um, and then there's the third picture with him sort of by his armpit. Well, you know, some people <laughs> enjoy armpits. Perhaps but that's doesn't look, the... doesn't look in, that's not enjoyment. That's confusion. <laughs> It's like, going, what's my armpit doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, true. Um, there, there is there is that to it. But anyway, is there any I reason thought, why he's done that? Um, just I think he's just <laughs> yeah. I, th I think he's just wanting to show himself off in in a nice way. Um, he does apparently appear on the the actual um, cover of the magazine wearing a full trench coat, which is a bit the other end of the spectrum. But yeah, flash a Mac. You never know. From that uh, point of view. Andrew Garfield, professional flasher. <laughs> he does like to <clears throat> shoot his sticky stuff all over the place, isn't he? Does he? Oh, that's a reference to Spider. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, ah, yes, yeah yes, that yes, one, yes. yes. Um, you could have it on my face if you wanted. How rude. Moving on. They've seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, our second story this week is slightly sadder. Um, unfortunately, the New York Times broke the story that Kevin Conroy... Kevin Conroy, okay. that's what I said when he first broke the news. He was apparently the voice of Batman for three decades. Oh. So Doesn't apparently like he Batman. passed away in New York um, earlier on this week. Um, was, well, was well known. Apparently his husband was called Mr Williams. That's the name of a teacher. Isn't it just? Mr. Williams, is it true your <laughs> husband died? Mr. Williams, is your husband uh, is super, Superman? No, he's, no Batman. Ba he's Batman. He's Batman. Apparently, he brought some gravitas to the rule role. Did he really? Mm. Mm. Yes, we always like a gravitas. <laughs> gravitas. <laughs> gravitas. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of gravitas, but never gravitas. <laughs> it's a very large button that's got its own. Like, yeah, it's got like its own gravitational, gravitational field. Yeah, you, know, you can go into orbit if it's. <laughs> <laughs> is that a badunka dunk? Um, possibly. Or is it just cakey? Mm. And it's not a postcard. Mm. We may have to leave that there. Just that thought. Or, or not. Let's let's stick with that thought <laughs> a little bit longer about big butts. Because I like them and I cannot lie. I seem yeah. to remember that you have quoted some kind of song in that one. Yeah, yeah. I like big butts. Again, not that. You. I can't, can't say that word. What? I can't say Because I have to beep it if I say no. The the producers having a, a shouting fit and say, <laughs> "Make him f***ing stop saying." <laughs> is what I'm currently getting in my ear. So please stop saying. <laughs> okay, I'll stop f***ing saying. Okay. You mother. F Thank you. That's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I'm so so present. Yeah. Now, our final story this week. Mm -hmm. Gays. 
Hold your breath. What about the lesbians and the bisexuals and the trans community? Are they well, allowed, to be are fair... They, are they allowed I, to breathe as well? They're, they? they're allowed to breathe, because I'm not quite sure. Well, I suppose, no. I mean, you know... Everyone, everyone hold your breath or hold don't your breath, hold your breath. Or don't hold your breath as your, your personal, personal preference <laughs> desires. News. OK, good. Showbiz news. Show yeah. One. yeah. Of mm -hmm. a Princess Diaries the third. Oh. Well, that's not exactly the reaction I expected. It should have been. I mean, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Love her to bits. But, oh, no, I was poor, but I was actually rich. Now I'm living in a nice little castle and everything's so painful. But she's got a tiara. Like... OK, and? Well, I love a tiara. OK, I get that. But it's on Anne Hathaway, not you. Well, that's true. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, I, I was actually in London last weekend and there were quite a few lovely tiaras in the windows of some of the, the shops that we went to. How many did you try in? I didn't try any of them on. Yes, you did. OK, that's I did. lie. Maybe two. <laughs> Maybe two. Um, apparently, Julie Andrews says that she's not going to do the movie because she thinks she's too old. AKA, got too much self-respect. Well, probably more that she's got too much money. Same thing. You know. <laughs> Self-respect and money go hand in hand. Uh, do they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's some stuff that I would do for a tenner there. If there's a million there, probably wouldn't do. <laughs> probably wouldn't do. It's OK, I mean, free, fair but... enough. But, you know, if she's not like some celebrities who have burnt through all of their money and now appear on desperate television shows, not thinking of any particular desperate television shows we in don't, the jungle. We don't mention I was a celebrity making me a career, especially with their choices of contestants, so... Yes, well... We'll crash on from that one. But anyway, so Julia, Julie Andrews is probably not going to be in it. Uh, but we'll find out how Mia, who was heir apparent to the uh, kingdom of Genovia... All made up. All made up. Although you can get a Genoese sponge, which is a nice type of cake. And I do like cake. I do like cake. Mm. That's the time you're allowed to say the word moist, isn't it? Yes. You're only allowed to say that word in relation to cake. Is Chris Pine going to be in this one? Ooh. Because he makes me moist. <laughs> I would see cake. That's fine. I don't mind. It, uh, let me just let me just check and see what it says about the rest. I'm sorry, I was just too excited by the whole Anne Hathaway um, type thing. They've not really yeah, okay. She's she's a brilliant actress, but let's say about the, the the eye candy. Yeah, they've not really mentioned. She's some dick. <sighs> Doesn't actually say. I'm sorry. We might <sighs> have to wait to find out who the dick's going to be. Probably the director. Hey! Ah, <laughs> but I'm... Have we got a release date for it, maybe? Or... Uh, or Disney just said when. They've whenever. just said that they're going to do it. It's in wor in 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 the works, as they say. Ah, the last yeah. movie came out in 2004. So that's 18 years ago. That's quite you upsetting. Do maths. That's not... 2004 was four years ago. It hasn't even happened yet, as far no. as I'm concerned. I mean, still in the nineties. Still in the nineties. <laughs> still in the nineties. I'm not old at all. Um, so yes, we will have to wait and see um, for the further cast announcements and to see where Mia and her tiara has got up to. I'm, I'm glad, glad I didn't say um, the tiara and Mia. Could I get Tia Maria in my head then? Oh, Tia Maria. My mum likes Tia Maria. That's a surprise. <laughs> Mike's met my mother. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologising to, to your mother for meeting me? I'm a <laughs> delight. <laughs> yeah, that's what she says about herself as well. And you yeah. can imagine when two people who are a <laughs> delight to get together, how well that goes. Wonderfully. <laughs> so, we've got no release date. We don't know whether Chris Pine's going to be in it. Julie Andrews probably not going to mean it because she'll be dead in two day, two days. Um, so effectively, they're possibly doing a third movie, and there's possibly Anne Hathaway in it, and that's really all we know. But it's going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so Anne Hathaway is a bit skint at the minute, and going, mm, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much what it what it boils down to. Okay, mm, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, maybe she could get um, what's his face Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Mm, that maybe. would certainly make something. Interesting. Maybe in the he movie. could slip in while while she's not looking and make it a bit more entertaining. Hot men in leather. I was just thinking about him slipping in. On that delightful note, mm -hmm. that's all there is from the showbiz news this week. Great. Well, thank you, Phil. Always nice to see that you know 
half-naked men are still a staple of everything. Um, but stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Ooza Kazoo, and this one is for our new shiny guest host, Phil. So off you meander. <sighs> Game of the Week. So all Phil's going to do is going to sing some musicals into a kazoo. Are you ready, Phil? Absolutely. Great. Pop your first one out, then. I'm going to display my enormous musical talent here, Mike. You will be blown away by how fantastic I am. I did ask people not to show me their talents on screen. Ah, too late, sorry. All right. Right. spinning in his grave. <laughs> right, that is Can You Feel My <laughs> Tonight from the um, Lion King. That's quite correct, it, yes. it was, it was in, indeed. Oh no, I've been told the guy love tonight, it's the correct answer. Oh, is it? Oh, that's slightly more disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> yes. Right, ready for the next one? I am braced and prepared. Oh, brace yourself, Effie. Well, that's a reference. <laughs> Very old one as well. Very old. Rude. Right, okay, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> I was enjoying myself. I tell. <laughs> <laughs> Sat here waiting for you to finish. Oh, I'll get over yourself. Um, I, I am over myself. <laughs> I'm over myself and through myself. Right. Um, Phantom of the Opera by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. Phantom Sir of the Andrew Opera. of the Lloyd Webbers. Yeah. yeah. Apparently he's got a massive penis. Does he? Oh. Yeah. I wonder what Sarah Brightman saw in him. There's another was, ancient reference. Was not his face. <laughs> I thought it was an enormous bank account, to be perfectly honest with you. Eh, size matters. Yeah, you know, one of the only other people that puts money in and gets money out of theatre. Yeah. Right. Just crack on, because you won't get money out of this. Go on. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oliver, mm -hmm. food, glorious food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? That, yeah. Do you know who it's by? Oliver. <laughs> I can't remember who it's by either, so it's fine. Um, it's from Oliver. I don't care who it's by. It's I, Oliver. By Oliver. By Oliver. Oliver. Um, OK. Um, let me think. Let's see what have we got on here that we can do. How about... Oh! No. Oh. Do it again. We have no bananas. No. No. It's not that. What was it? It's the beginning of I have confidence. In what? 
I have confidence in me, I have confidence in everything. It's from um, <laughs> Sound of Music. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Hey, I thought that see. was a goat herd and then one about Nazis. There is one about goat herds. There isn't actually a song about Nazis. But... Oh, where can you use a Nazi run away quick? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, th I think you might be thinking of Springtime for Hitler, but that's... From... I think that's more of a case of when I get bored watching a musical, I start making up my own. Ah, uh, OK, fair enough. I mean, you, you are well known for making up your own lyrics to most things. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, so whack another one out. Oh, oh, I tell you, this performance performance pressure. Right, okay. whapping another, whapping another one out. Let me table. think, what shall we do? Um... In your own time. Yeah, yeah. Go with yourself. That life's fine. I think I need a little bit more. <laughs> That's just rude. Necessities up until that moment. <laughs> had some sort of seizure. <laughs> a seizure, a seizure. Seizure. That's what they are now. They're seizures. Seizures. Yeah, um, it's like the salad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always know you like a good dressing on your salad, so. I think I think that's a very polite way of saying you like cum on your face. But yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Was it the bare necessities that you then It was the bare necessities right, okay. from The Jungle Book. Rudyard Disney's Kipling. The Jungle Book. Right. Rudyard Kipling, indeed. Okay, not the song, the words. Oh, he's swaying. How nice. No idea what it was, though. Where you did the desk canty bits? <laughs> oh, I was in pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. Is it is it Joseph and his slightly over lavish jacket? I believe it's his cashmere sweater, but okay. you're quite correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't remember the name of the song. Uh, you can't remember the name of the song? No, I just know it's from um, Joseph. And his any a, any dream will do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's any any dream, any 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 dream will do. Don't know why I needed to say any so many times there, but yeah, there we go. Seize your spelling. Seize you. <laughs> oh dear, yes. what am I like? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else can we do. Um, are you ready? <laughs> jazz but then went to a different key altogether yeah I, I, you didn't say i had to stay in the same key the all that, was it all that jazz from chicago it was all that jazz from chicago okay <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. All oh, right, I'm okay. Done. I was enjoying myself. What? Did okay. I... <laughs> I could see. <laughs> um, I think it might have been Madonna from Dick Tracy. <laughs> well, it was Madonna in the okay, film. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't Dick Tracy. Is it not? She did no. so well in that movie too. 
I didn't even know she was in Dick Tracy. Did you not? No. Oh, no, she was She was one of the, the almost extras. Um, well, she is a bit extra, isn't she? From... Particularly, have you actually seen her since the latest plastic surgery? Dear God, woman. Oh, no, Stop! that's a filter. That's a filter. She puts an alien filter on all of her posts. Um, from Evita. Don't it cry is? for me, eat a pizza. Don't cry for me, eat a pizza. I mean, I suppose you could not cry and eat a pizza in, in, instead. <laughs> It was Guys and Dolls. Oh, okay. Um, which How about he is in. Guys? In fact, I think Marlon Brando's in it as well, actually. I'll have to look at it. He up. is Look Be a Lady Tonight, because it's one of the, the, the whole point of the, the part where he's saying Look Be a Lady Tonight is he's out of key and he doesn't sing very well, and it's. Yeah. Started that quite high. Yeah, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I realised that going, halfway through, but you going, know. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting key to start with because it's quite a low song to start with. And yeah, you've got, you've yeah, got it right yeah, in yeah, that I middle. I sort of realised that and then went, oh shit, I've got in the wrong key, but you know, it, I, I just went with it. All I, right. Because <laughs> actually, in the middle of the song, it does go into a very, in, a very high, and yeah, I yeah. think I just kind of went, oh, I'll just do that bit instead. Yeah, it's like, going, yeah. Uh, we're going up, we're going up. No, we're changing our mind, we're going to a different part yeah. of the song. <laughs> yeah. Um, and maybe this time, from yes, Cabaret. From Cabaret, indeed. Yes. Maybe this time from Cabaret. Right, but uh, yeah, I've had enough of that now. So, after this break, we're going to stick around because we've got Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to plunge fist deep into the gaping orifice of the Jar of Joy as we shine a spotlight in our cleverly titled section, Spotlight. The jar of joy. The jar of joy. The the vessel of vacuum vacuance. Vacuosity would probably Vacuosity. be the way it would go. If, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's its choice. Um, so you're enjoying yourself so far. So far. So far, almost over now. Don't worry. Yes. Sorry, they didn't say that. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, so what we have here is the jar of joy. Okay. So we have some questions in there. But before we dive into these deep probing questions, tell us a little bit about you. What do you do? Where do you come from? Oh, I came over Silla oh, there. Not the first man. I'm do. number three and I'm from... No, sorry. <clears throat> uh, I'm Phil. I'm a doctor. An I, actual real doctor as well. An actual real medical doctor that actually works with patients. I am a GP working in Salford. Yeah. Um, and I have been GPing for... <clears throat> some years, as we like to say <laughs> to our trainees. <laughs> so you've been doing it for some years. Some years. Some years, yes. Um, I don't know, as you've referenced before, we know each other outside of the world of telly. Yes. yes. And we've known each other for some years. Yes, some, some years. It's a, it's a number between naught and some. Yes, it's quite high. Um, and you're a member of the LGBTQ plus community? I am indeed, yes. Um, and how does that work with the, the NHS? Are they a good... You know, inclusive employer, or are they just a bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think the NHS generally strives to be a good inclusive employer. Okay. I think it has um, some way to go in some aspects, but um, it, it's getting there, certainly. Um, I mean, aside from all of the other stuff that is going on with the NHS at the moment, <laughs> shall we say? Stop. <laughs> like, what? Like I wonder. What? No I money, no staff. <laughs> no beds, no hospitals. Now it's all say, fine. You say no beds. I was in a hospital um, getting bloods and things done today, and I saw two beds in a, in a, a what's it called, hallway. There's beds in the NHS. Oh, yeah, you know why they're in the hallway? No patients on them. Yeah, you know why? No. Because the patients that were in them would have just died. Uh, so they'll be airing them out. Oh, ready for the next punters. Breathe through. Yeah, just you know. Breathe through. Oh, okay, I'll let them off. They'll breathe. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so shall we? Shall we get in the jar of joy? Then? I'm I'm desperate to plunge my fist into the jar of joy. Oh, no, we don't let you plunge your fist. Oh, in. I was looking forward I to might, that. I as might well. let you shortly. But yes. 
So this is basically an either or question. Mm hmm Like, would you rather? That, that popular game that we have not rebranded with a chewing the cud sticker on the back. So, would you rather have an unlimited international first class ticket or never have to pay for food ever again? I think you already know the answer to this question, don't it's you? The you food. You've, you've, you've met me. <laughs> it's the food. It's not the food. <laughs> <laughs> I would love an unlimited international first class ticket because I'm a whore for the travelling. Or travelling with the whores. I forget which way around it is. <laughs> or, or whore for travellers. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. so anything really. Any, anything yeah, yeah. really. Anything goes. Um, where would you like to go? Ooh, mm, top of my bucket list at the moment is Japan because we've been mm. trying to get to Japan for the last three years, but... Why have you not gone? Well, there was this little thing that happened with some bats in China, possibly, allegedly, um, and, and then this little virus thing apparently happened. Just get the monkey pots out so you can be fine. You know, and um, it, it, it got a bit out of control. Okay. Um, and, and then so Japan wouldn't let, us, wouldn't let us visit. I mean, to be fair, if Japan knew me, they, they probably wouldn't let visit. me visit, yeah, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, we've kind of hinted towards coronavirus there. What was it actually like working during a global pandemic? It was just difficult, is the best way of putting okay. it. You know, um, we were obviously still at work, and particularly as a lot of the rhetoric coming from... Rhetoric? Uh, rhetoric. I know. Word we posh, get off on the, the ship. long word, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> coming out of the, the newspapers. Uh -huh. and, and government was very much that we were, as GPs, sitting, doing nothing. OK. Um, where in actual fact we were. We were working very, very hard. Um, a lot of the stuff that was normally done in hospitals had to be moved out into the community because the hospitals were busy doing other things. Okay. So we were speaking, to, still speaking to patients on the telephone and if we needed to see them, we would bring them in. Um, but a lot of it was done behind the scenes of us just ploughing through all of the stuff that hospitals weren't able to do that we needed to uh, arrange instead from that point of view. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was not a fun time, not a fun I have time. to be honest and say. The only upside was that my commute to work was amazing because there were no cars on the road. <laughs> <laughs> There's always an upside. Always an upside. You've got to find the upside. You've got to find an upside. And you had all those people banging pots for you on a Thursday. Oh, that's true, yes. I did feel very special that people were banging pots and clapping yeah. and having the clap. No, sorry, just banging. No, no one caught the clap. <laughs> we're allowed to. Trust me, I tried. No. <laughs> um, would you like to delve into a oh, jar? Oh, may I delve yes, into a jar? Mm. Looking forward to this. And just as a hint, the questions go left to right because we've had some people in the past that tried to read them up and down. It doesn't quite work the same way. Would you rather uh -huh. be a superhero mm -hmm. or have magical powers? So what would you rather have? Because mm. everybody watching knows what I would prefer. I'd like magical powers. Yeah, me too, because then I would be Magic Mike. Mm. Magic Mike, hot men. Sorry, um, yes, no, I would like magical powers because really I'm a big Harry Potter geek. And, really? Mm, I know, <laughs> it might, that might come as a surprise. Massive surprise. Um, I own quite a lot of the Lego. TM. Um, a lot of the Lego, not all. Not all of it, no. There Name is one thing you've not got. I haven't got the Whomping Willow. And I haven't yet. got the Hogsmeade Village. Yet. Yeah. The both yet. <laughs> or the new Hogwarts Express. Yet. But that is ridiculously expensive. Yet. Um, <laughs> I, I would also have magic powers. And why would you have magic powers? Just so I could walk me one down in public. With and sparkly not stars. And not get arrested. <laughs> and get sparkly fair. stars coming out the end of it. What, throwing sparks? <laughs> Whatever comes out, comes out. It's not my problem. Um, right, next one. So the gallery making dust noises because they're ancient and come dust. Anybody Would you rather <laughs> be able to forget anything you wanted or have a photographic memory? Have a photographic memory. Because you already did the other thing. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I just forget things quite frequently that are not important to my life. Like, you know, Can't my remember. passwords or <laughs> <laughs> things like that. Oh, let's have Ooh, another I one. have another yeah. delve. Rummage. A rummage. Rummage. <laughs> Would you rather mm. be completely bald or... <laughs> Be covered completely from head to toe in hair. Is that a read? 
<laughs> Me? Would I ever? Yes. Yes, yes, I would. I, it, it's just the card that came out. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's two choices of questions on there. Yeah, 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 there are two courses. Well, the other one's not very exciting. Okay, so it's what would very... you what would you rather? Uh, actually, to be honest with you, probably far rather be completely bald. Mm -hmm. Because being completely covered from head to toe in hair would A, look weird, and B, take an awful lot of hair product. Do I even get a choice? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a point in me actually answering no, this I think question? you should answer the question. I think I'd rather important. be bald. Because... Why is that, Meg? <laughs> because I'm used to it. <laughs> it's not a lifestyle change if I'm staying as I'm staying, is it? Um... You're not completely bald, though. You've got a beard. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so can we stop referencing my back hair, please? <laughs> Hard. Anyway, would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Vampire. That was a very quick answer. It was. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, you know, vampires are kind of, you know, generally wealthy and stylish, whereas werewolves are usually oh. living in dens and get furry. It's the hair thing again, really. I mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, cost of hair products as a werewolf must be insane. I don't think they do the hair. Oh, do they not? <laughs> well, you don't I like would. <laughs> Twilight, and the, the, you know, the fit one's there brushing his hair out with a, a uh, hair dryer. Well, oh, just got to do this. Well, you know, I, I probably would. You know what I'm like. Right, let's have one more. OK. <laughs> now, would you rather be a dog or a cat? I think a cat. Are you not allergic to both? Well, I am hideously allergic to both, but assuming I wasn't allergic no, to no, myself... No, no, does it say, does it say <laughs> you are not allergic to yourself? It says, would you rather be a dog or a cat? I would be a cat. Why would you be a pussy? Because... they basically rule the roost. Like, dogs, people are always running around after dogs. OK. You know, taking them out for walks, blah, 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 all of this. Fussing them and these kind of things. Whereas cats, really, you know, they turn up. They demand food, they get fed. They want to sit on the owner's lap, they sit on their owner's lap. They want to sleep in the bed, they sleep in the bed. It's, it's all very just like, you know, you are my slave now. I quite like that idea. That's how you live. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I want I'm to be a cat. <laughs> I'm sleeping here now, I'm eating this now. <laughs> Well, that's why I want to be a cat. Again, as you were saying, not much change to the yeah. lifestyle. <laughs> it's, it's actually who you are. Um, they wouldn't I, want to be a dog. No. You made dogs sound like a horrible thing there. No, I love dogs. Okay. But I just wouldn't want to be just one. Sure. If I had to be one or the other. OK. I'd be a dog because people love dogs. A nasty little cat. <laughs> Plus, dog gets randy, just hump something. Cats make that noise. <laughs> well, so do you. So, I mean, what's the point? Yeah, but at least people know what I'm doing. Oh. Um, but, all... <laughs> but it's been great to get to know you a little bit more, Phil. Thank you very much for having me. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media, at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, our YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 Now, let's talk about anything we want.